Hey now. Ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Hey Welcome now. The show. Hey now. Hey Peace now. and love. Peace and love. Peace, Peace and love. love. Peace and love. Yeah. Tom Ward. Give it up for Tom Ward. <laughs> Tom, you know, that, you know that today is October 20th, right? I saw you, man. I am a huge Howard fan. Do, oh. Does the H3 crew get the Howard reference? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, so uh, peace and love. No more fan mail, please, Tom. So how you been since our last talk? You getting any... I saw you You had a real nice hit with uh, that conservative guy. Patrick Bet David. Yeah, oh, you, that one did good for you, right? Yeah, it was good. Uh, the H3 community, man, shout out to you guys. They have been unbelievable. They are the best. They are the um, best. Like the day after I was on with you guys, I think I got eighteen thousand subscribers the next wow. day. Really? Whoa! Yeah, that's crazy. That's amazing. So I mean, thank listen. you, family. I'm very proud of our family. We change lives on a daily basis. Um, it's what For we real. do. For real, they've been unbelievable and like helpful, and they like, got good suggestions, and they're just amazing. You know what? I'm actually really. I love really to hear that. that. Yeah. There is like a really, there's a group of like the nicest sweetest people that are like so supportive and mm -hmm. they'll go and support everyone the sweetest way so we love them yeah. and uh we love you tom <laughs> well i love you guys thank you well, thank you the feelings <laughs> mutual of course uh how's the channel going let me open it up real fast tom ward you video today we need views with we need Lori views Hill, the plastic <laughs> surgery expert <laughs> all right we need views guys we need the views tom ward show okay well okay hold on it does look like it's better though because, oh, for sure. I mean, not I rem great. When I had you on, you had ones that had like 200 views. Oh, yeah. But I see... It's on much better. The lowest nice. one here is 2.8 thousand now. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's 10 times better than how it was before. And then oh, it, Jimmy sure. Lee was a monster Dr. hit. Dr. James Weiner. How'd you connect with James Weiner? <laughs> uh, he's persistent. <laughs> Let's just say he that. He reached persistent. out to you. He came to you. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking amazing. Dude, first of all, does he have your number? Because I could see no. him just like no. blowing I've it up. Oh, you're on the texting list Did now, you Tom? give him your number? I'm on the texting list. Oh, Shout out. No. Jersey Tom. Tom. Check I'm out my so new sorry, video, Tom. Tom. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, would, I would never give him my number. I give him Zach's number. And mine. <laughs> uh, he, he DMs me on, on Instagram. And it's just a constant barrage that I check in on and I don't always respond to I usually don't respond to it because I know what that leads to but it can, I always do read it Jimmy if you're watching and <laughs> if it's something that I feel you know I want to reciprocate on I, I do I do mm -hmm. what kind of how often does he text you Tom. No, I was just kidding. Just the no he's good just around the interview he was like super he wanted to come on he was like super pumped. Mm hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, no, it's okay. You can say what you want about him. He texts us like 10 times a day. Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's real. <laughs> it was an interesting conversation for sure. Um, wait, did we ever talk about he sent Howie that picture of him in high school, that post? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we did talk wait, about that on, on the gotta, show. Hold on, we got to pull that up. Mm. Um, Stop the Howie had me. the funniest fucking post after he did his Jimmy Lee interview. Yeah. Oh, maybe we did talk about it on the show, actually. We did? I think so. But I'll pull it up either way. Jimmy now is texting him nonstop. <laughs> and weird shit, too. Like, he texted him a picture of him in high school shirtless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here. Like, why? And Howie's caption was, was wonderful as well. Let's see. Uh, Here it is. Lonesome Egg said, uh, sob story time, just found my fiance of three years sending dick pics to other people. And my life feels over, but you make me smile and I love <laughs> you all so much. Shoot the uh, son of a bitch. Dick pic. <laughs> that sucks. What are we gonna do about dick pics, man? We gotta curb the... Yeah, we got... You know what I mean? I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Uh, we get you, fine. get yourself a guy like this instead. Look at Jimmy. Right. This is a monogamous, he, so, uh, Howie said, we just got <laughs> sent this picture of Jimmy Lee from years ago, from Jimmy Lee. Nobody <laughs> asked for the picture, Jimmy Lee. Can you please send us a picture six months prior to when this was taken? <laughs> and he also sent another one. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> for those who have been waiting since the last post, here's the picture of Jimmy Lee six months prior to the first photo. Thank you Wait, for sending us Wait, is that all unbuttoned? I can't tell. Yeah, uh, looks like the bottom 
at the bottom's button, but it's mm. very old. Oh, chess me. Yeah, yeah, quite a bit. He loses a button every three months. He is one of a kind, man. <laughs> so, um, uh, well, we brought you on to basically, um, you know, tap into your expertise. Uh, we okay. recalled that you said you are some kind of a li- appliance uh, professional. Is that right? Yes, correct. I work for a company. I've never <laughs> named the company, but the company is called Hobart. I worked for them for like 10 years and they make, I think they were the biggest. They make these large commercial dishwashers. You'll see mm. at like cheesecake factory at busy restaurants and they make small ones, like all different sizes flavors. And, and then they make other stuff too. So I used to sell, uh, I did national accounts. So I used to sell like $8 million worth of stuff. To oh, two wow. Accounts. You were a big, yeah, you were so a, you were a top dog. I was Okay. Eight million? Come on, Tom. Don't be modest. Uh, but like one, one and a half per year usually was dishwashers. So I know, I don't know many things, but I do know about dishwashers. <laughs> okay, so that's interesting. So you were selling the industrial ones. So those yeah. ones, even more than the residential ones, would be you would assume. powerful. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. if those, so my question to you, first of all, is... Do dishes need to be pre-washed before entering the the dishwasher? Yeah. I mean, I don't even know. First of all, you did a poll. What is the poll at right now? Right. Oh, I, we I haven't put it up yet. We did one the other day, and it was. Oh, okay. uh, but in your professional opinion, Tom. Yes. Yeah. Of course you do. Are you insane? You <laughs> yes, you need to pre-rinse, and I'll give you. I have notes, okay? Oh, interesting. I'll tell right, you go exactly ahead. why you need the pre-wash. It'll okay. be over. It's a wrap. Go ahead, Tom. <laughs> Number one, if you go in the back of any restaurant, and if you're watching this, you've ever worked in a restaurant before, go to the dishwasher station. And what is it? There's a trash can where the guy scrapes off the food, and there's this giant hose mm-hmm. spray right. where they pre-wash the dishes. Now, they got these giant, powerful machines with like high grade chemicals and God knows what they're putting on your plates to blast all this stuff away. Why are they pre-rinsing? Because the dishwasher won't get everything off. Right. So if you didn't need to pre, you know, rinse, why would every restaurant have that? That's one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two, oatmeal. Okay. (laughs) I eat a bowl of oatmeal every morning. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm very boring. <laughs> so I used to, you know, I used to be in the camp where you don't pre-wash. So I would put, I'd lazily put the bowl in the dishwasher. My wife runs the machine. The next morning she's yelling at me because there's still oatmeal, like concrete. Mm-hmm. Oatmeal is a tough the one. <laughs> oatmeal is a tough one. Mm-hmm. Okay. And exa- so you have to soak and pre-rinse to yep. get that off, right? If it was so great that this dishwasher technology Tom, you was got, so okay, amazing. Hold on, Tom. Hold on. Go AB, ahead. can we get the oh. yup? After every point. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working on figuring it out right now. <laughs> okay. Tom, I, I want to ask about something you touched on. You said <laughs> you have to soak the oatmeal. I mean, Tom, how long are we leaving that out for, man? It depends. Bro, I'm talking five minutes. And five it's like minutes? concrete. Yes. It's Cause... true. If you don't like put it in water right away, it gets stuck to the, the dish. When I when I do eat oatmeal, yeah. I rinse it out immediately when I'm done because you know that thing is just going to be garbage if you don't. Okay, good. You're going to have to throw it uh, <laughs> like a like a worthless <laughs> stone without jade in it. Tough. <laughs> the peace and love. Okay, go on, Tom. Go on. Peace and love. Peace and love. Example and final example is Peanut butter. Have you ever made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Absolutely. Who hasn't? Mm -hmm. Who hasn't? Okay. You put the peanut butter knife in the dishwasher. You run the dishwasher. What do you have left? You got a peanut buttery ass knife. You're damn right you do. (laughs) So maybe, maybe, is it possible that this is a nuanced situation where some materials should be soaked uh, or pre-washed off but some materials don't that is an excellent educated question (laughs) thank you okay (laughs) of course you don't need to pre-rinse everything okay you eat a slice of pizza on a plate right 
there's no mess, there's no sauce on it. No Just problem. Put it in the dishwasher. Live your life. Right. Right. Because a little marinara sauce, even I would think, mm. you could probably just drop it in there. A little marinara. You know. huh? Huh? Okay. I'd still rinse so it. So Tom, the professional, says yes. You must pre-wash. The poll has drawn a very decisive conclusion: eighty percent. The reason that we're even talking about it is because you read articles, and we read articles by professionals. They say you do not need to pre-wash. In fact, they even go as far to say it's a waste of water. It ruins the efficiency oh. of the dishwasher, and it's like ecologically horrible thing to do. Pre-wash. Mm. That's what they're telling us, the consumers. And Tom, a professional with the biggest water jug I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yes, drink your water, kid. That is a big-ass motherfucking... How many... What's the ounceage on that? That is a half gallon. And notice I blacked out the name of the water bottle because fuck them. They, pay, they gotta pay. <laughs> I, all right, they get no free plugs. Okay? Hey, yeah, them, hey they smart man. They get nothing. And yeah. so, um, how many of those you crush a day? So I drink a gallon a day. So this is a half gallon. Just Twice drink two of those. And you, good. Are you frequent urinator? I mean, yeah, you're drinking a fucking gallon of water. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I'm just I'm saying that's a, that's the pro and con, I guess, of being a dedicated okay, hydro bro. How bad do you have to pee right now? Okay, so but me, I'm good. So here's do what we've too, done. By the way, but not as big as that not one. even. No. <laughs> okay, so we've done a experiments. Dan has actually spearheaded the cause. Dan, yeah, tell so us about me, your methodology. Yeah. Let me step in here for a second because I respect everything that you have to say here, Tom. Okay, I respect and, you, Dan. And about 72 hours ago, I would have been in full agreement with you. However, huh. Something's happened after that article the other day. I started to do a little bit more digging into this whole debate. And I, I've seen the code of the matrix now. I've seen things I can't unsee. Uh, my eyes have been open. So let me go point by point to the things that you brought up. First of all, <coughs> you worked selling commercial dishwashers. Now, my understanding is that commercial dishwashers one of the main things that you're looking for in a restaurant is speed, right? Because and cleanliness, you can't. And cleanliness, serve of course, of food course. Food on dirty plates, of course. Or even and you're plates looking to with sanitize. Smudges. Maybe it's sanitized, but it's still got smudges. Who wants a little, you know, chips of smudges, Dan? Mm-hmm. Dan. But, well, Dan. here's the thing. Dan those here those machines. Tom. Correct me if I'm wrong, Tom. <laughs> but the cycle on those machines are usually at most like two minutes, right? You rinse that thing off, that right? you load up the tray, you put it in there, you pull the thing down, two, three oh, minutes, yeah. boom, you got clean plates. Okay, really? that's interesting. Yeah, super quick, not even that long. Right. Wow. And so oh, and they're designed to be pre-rinsed because of that, because there's not really like a rinse cycle even happening in there. It's okay. more like it's just blasting it real quick and then sterilizing it, like, so, like you said, with a bunch of chemicals and if stuff. If I can uh, mm. interpret, I think what Dan is saying to you, Tom, and no offense, these are Dan's words, that you might be out of your element. <laughs> I am not, sir. Continue. Well, listen, listen, listen. That's a bullshit point. Listen. You gotta have clean plates. So, okay, it's industrial, so what? Right. It's gotta do it quick, yeah, I agree. But if it does it quick and doesn't clean, Absolutely. That's a bad thing. You don't right. want to serve plates that are dirty to customers. And right? I'm never, and, and I'm not, and I'm not going to argue with you on that point at all because Dad is the queen. I, when you it comes, wrong. you are. Dad is the queen. Thank you, thank you, Rich. <laughs> when it comes to commercial dishwashers, I, I know that is not my area of expertise, and I, I know I'm out of my element. So I think everything that you're saying is perfectly valid. Okay. The issue is that we don't use commercial dishwashers in our homes, do we? We use consumer grade yeah. dishwashers Absolutely which are designed dead. with a very different set of parameters in mind mm -hmm. now the first thing that my eyes were opened up to is i'm curious in this room and i did a little i did a little straw poll the other day just amongst the crew but i'm curious tom ethan and Ela, if you have an answer for this too what type of detergent do you use and specifically do you use the pods we do use the pods whatever you want then the pods mm -hmm. are dog shit that's the really? worst thing you could be using. Why? I'll tell you. Okay, why. I don't use pods. Well, so okay, okay, that's good. That's good. So tell let me. Us about the pods. You don't use pods. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the issue I, with I, the pods. I tend to. Well, the reason I like the pods, Dan, is because I can snack on one while I. Also <laughs> <have> one. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I'll tell you exactly what the problem is. Let me let me divert your eyes to uh, Exhibit A here. Okay. Mm -hmm. This this is my uh, dishwasher at home. However, yeah. this is very very standard, right? Yep. Now, 
you'll notice right away there are two trays here. Yes. And then you close the thing, right? And you likely put your little pod right in there. You pop it in there and you close the thing. Yeah. But what about this one? What is this one doing? This, you probably can't make it out, but it says pre-wash. And what that is, is when you put your dishes in a dishwasher, for the first 15 minutes or so, it is doing a rinse cycle. Mm -hmm. A rinse cycle that is intended to be the rinse that you do on your plates. If you do not have any soap in that dishwasher or in that second little thing, then you're rinsing without any soap. Hold on. Really? You're saying that with pre-wash, somehow the water now is going to magically remove peanut butter and oatmeal from dishes? Okay. I'm going to get so to the shame. oatmeal point because there, there are obvious exceptions to this. But, okay, okay, okay. But as far as general protocol of loading up your dishwasher... If you are not using the pre-wash, you can't blame the dishwasher for not getting everything off of it, there because it, you're not operating your machine properly. Is the so, pre-wash a, is the pre-wash a different product? Yeah, what is it? No, it could just be regular there. detergent. Oh, now you see okay. these little slots right here? Uh-huh. Those exist for a reason. When you lift up the door, all of the soap that's in this one dribbles out of these slots again during the rinse cycle. Bro, so, don't be so vulgar, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you aren't mm -hmm. using this, then again, you, it's, you're just kind of blasting water around in there. And yeah, it's going to get some stuff off, but is it going to get as much off as if it's soapy water? No. No, it's not. Thank you, Dan. Let me get my thoughts together here. Okay, so that's, that's big point number one. Wait, wait. Can we, can we, re, can we rebuttal? Yeah, okay, yeah, Tom. of course, Tom, please. Dan, okay, I appreciate your passion, all. but we're not oh, here sorry. to grandstand. We're here to have a... A, a friendly debate here, or mm -hmm. not friendly, having mm -hmm. a combative I mean, debate. Are you sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Rebuttal, Tom. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> so I used to, part of these training is you have to, this, I mean, it was the boringest job ever. You would meet with engineers who design dishwashers, okay? And they're excited to talk to anybody because no one cares what they do, right? So they bore you to death. Mm. What I learned, I really didn't learn much from them. But what I learned mm. is when they design these machines, they make them for idiots. Why? Because we're all idiots. Mm -hmm. so I'm sure. wrong. They, they design these things to clean and they test them with no detergent at all in them to oh. see if they still get them clean. Oh. So they know that no one in the world puts pre-wash in the machine. They know that nobody uses the machine right. They plan Correct. for it. And now, now let me let That's me just a point. That is an interesting point of clarification here. Point of clarification here, Tom. Uh, these engineers that you're speaking to are they working on commercial dishwashers or they're universal dishwashing men? They do all types of dishwashers. Well, it's a good question, right? So, the the quick answer is yes, but no. The one particular <laughs> engineer I'm thinking of used to work for Kenmore, so he worked for commercial and residential. <laughs> Dishwashers. Mm. Oh my god. Interesting. Interesting. That is a really interesting uh perspective. Although I I gotta say, I think the proof is in the pudding. I mean, of, of the experiments we've conducted. Let's see the, the results. Okay, well, obviously this is a very unscientific uh experiment, but I will um I will point out that uh on Wednesday we had a big uh food taste testing segment here on the show. Uh Sam cooked up a number of dishes for our friend Love here uh, to try out. Yeah, who's uh, Sam? <laughs> yeah, who is Sam? Um, and um, the uh, the issue is, or not the issue is, she, she loaded up all of the dishes from the other day in our dishwasher here at the show, did not rinse, did it with the new protocol that I called for, and I got to tell you, these dishes, if I can open this damn picture, here it is. Hmm. I mean, right. these things are spotless, dude. I hope you got better photos than that. Oh, I have a, I have a number of photos. Here's the here's the utensils. Specific okay. concern for the utensils. Warranted. Shit gets stuck between the little things. It's all kind of stacked. It's like, how well is it going to do? These, I'm telling you, you can go look yourself. This hasn't been unloaded. It's all sitting over there, Ethan, if you want to verify. Mm -hmm. Looks clean. These are clean dishes. Clean dishes. You didn't find any... Not uh, a speck. I looked at all of the plates. Not one speck on this, any of this them. Is a, the, this is with the new protocol. And this is the type of dirty you would expect that you would need to pre-wash? Did you feel silly putting it in there like there's no way this is going to work? 
Uh, well, it was Sam that loaded it up, but uh, she she was she was interested in experimenting with this as well. And uh, Sam, can you answer that? Yeah, go yes, ahead, Sam. I felt silly. You did, really? okay. Because you felt silly. I am very pro stuff. rinse, mm -hmm. but I was like, okay, I'm just gonna try it because I didn't know that about the rinse cycle. So I put some uh, sauce in the other little compartment, and it worked. Some sauce. <laughs> People okay. is just and, a real and it's, talent. And people already, I see people pointing out the little spot on the spoon. I noticed that too. It's a little piece of rust that wasn't food. It's just sure, it's, bait. it's on Show the spoon again. itself. Show me again. All right, stand by, stand by. Okay, uh, where's the dang spoon? So, Sam, is, were you, um, as a as a avid pre-washer, were you convinced by this? I was. Mm. Sam, when you go home, interesting, and you do your dishes at home, are you going to pre-rinse or no after this? Um, my, I don't think that my dishwasher at home has that little compartment. Is the thing really? not that uh, I've noticed? I feel like they all do. Take a look I because I was skeptical at first, and then I, all the ones that I've looked at since having my eyes open like this. <laughs> Sure enough, it, had, it had not, the same yeah, design. It does that, not bro. feel good to not pre-rinse, I have to say. It's <laughs> not that bad. I feel wrong. You know, and uh, what Tom is saying, which I think is important, is that I don't think the pre-rinse matters because they know you ain't using it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, there are some straight up weirdos on the internet. Anyway, uh, so what <laughs> you were basically saying, Tom, that yeah. Um, we, they don't. They know you're not using the pre-rinse now. Ah, the pre what would you like to see? Because I would like to see peanut butter. I would like to see syrup. I would like to see oatmeal. Okay, so so oatmeal is one that immediately came to my mind too. And I'm not going to tell you not to rinse your mm -hmm. your concrete oatmeal. Like obviously, not it's you know soak that. But um. when it comes to just a, after a meal, you know, you and the family, you get up, you take your plate, you scrape it off into the trash. You don't need to go to the sink next. Wow. Straight into the dishwasher. It's okay. It it's okay. So it's not. What about like the dish that you mix raw egg in before you cook an omelet? That one. Nice. Raw egg, like yeah. the ro egg residue, that'll come. That'll come right off in the dishwasher. That'll come right off. Dude, it's gonna sit there and dry in the dishwasher because you're not. Okay. Gonna well, are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna not run the dishwasher for a few days? No, you. But it, all it needs is like 30 Maybe. minutes to dry. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. That's I think it'd be totally fine. The egg, the egg will rice. come right off. <laughs> Dan, you would never. You're just. I, I'm going it. to. All right. <laughs> I'm going to live I, by these words. Frankly, I think we've come across something interesting here. Mm -hmm. hmm. But I do want to do more experiments. Okay. I want to have some scientific method where we get plates of varying degrees of dirtiness. And mm. check them one by one mm -hmm. on how well they were cleaned. I think we can do that. And we okay. can even, well, even just for the sake of argument, put some oatmeal in a bowl, let it dry for a day, and have that be one of the things okay. in there. Okay. Just just to see, and you egg, maximize the uh, intensity. Sure, yeah. egg too. It'll, there you it'll go. be like a, an allergy test. You know how it's like. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where they stab area? people yeah. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about all this, Tom? I want to call into question the dirty spoon. Is it really rust? Bring the or spoon. Or is he trying to I'll fool us? <laughs> here, here. We need to examine the spoon. I noticed those pictures were kind of low res and a little far <laughs> away than uh, they rightly should have been. Yeah. Correct. Very suspicious. Yeah. So Dan is fetching the spoon. We are calling the spoon into question. Dan oh, is wow. we got the whole tray. bringing the whole tray. 
Right, spoon. Okay. right. So yeah. arranged in the same way, and I believe it's this spoon that was being pointed to. For it's out, out of camera. Hold on, hold on. But why did it look? This, this is this. Is this the same spoon, Tom? Yeah, it's a. It's got like. It looks this, like the same spoon. This gold okay. collar. So let's examine. Now I don't think. So this, was it clean? I don't think. Yeah, it's clean. Mm. I don't think the silverware were super dirty though. Right, love. No, of really course. Dirty. No, that's what I'm calling into question. The, yeah, we barely the food it. wasn't that dirty, right? Mm. And we, they were little bites. I would say that's a standard mess. No, no, no. Do we have a mess. picture of the dishes right, before Dan, they went uh, in? Sure. Uh, oh, no. Unfortunately, no. Oh, what, do you, uh, what do you mean, oh, oh no? How do we well, know? We, we, do, in a, we do in a sense because these dishes were dirtied on the show. So everybody saw everybody what was yeah. on the place. They saw the condition lacking. of the plates. So, so it's not it's not a total blind thing. But I understand that's a fair concern to bring up. Yeah. So this, that corn souffle is really difficult once it gets like dry it gets mm, very sticky to the plate. corn so souffle i would say just the corn souffle alone you, you know what another one i would say was probably potato. a decent the mess candy yams. Uh, i was gonna yes. say the uh the uh stuffed mushrooms because all that melted cheese kind of overflowed onto the, and yeah. hardened so we got like hardened cheese on plates him while i go examine or has it has been emptied it hasn't been emptied no so can I get a camera back there? Uh, if you give us a minute, we could do that. Tom, I'm gonna go back there and check those plates one by one. When do you need to leave? I appreciate your At dedication. At two forty-five. Dan. Yes. Yeah, okay. You got like five minutes. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get on this. <laughs> uh, but hold on, I can I can make a call. I'll be here if it's that important. I mean, do, are we gonna get an answer? You think? <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get there as soon as I can. We're just setting up the camera. It should be ready in any in any moment now. So, all right, let me let me text somebody. But I'm gonna I, try I my hardest. I, I don't this think you'll important. need that much time if you have something urgent to do. You know what I mean? No, I'll be okay. So, again, I I do believe, although I I do find the the preliminary evidence compelling. Mm -hmm. I find that the methodology was lacking, frankly. We need more evidence. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna go look at the dishes. Do I have a mic? <laughs> Up yours. Which kind of like doesn't help your case then. No. Suspicious. For sure. <laughs> The, okay, we hear him rustling over there. I do hear the dishes. He's going through the plates. Lots of crinkling, lots You're of like trying to break planking. Them? Something could definitely break, it sounds like. <laughs> what is possibly rough. going on? What is he <laughs> going, doing? <laughs> going ham on these plates. <laughs> He's, he can look, he can look. I'm telling you, this thing's for fucking queen, dude. Another thing I wanted to bring up is you didn't make this objection, Tom. However, this was an objection that was talked about the other day on the show, and I see all over the internet that if there's a bunch of food on the plates and it gets sprayed off in the dishwasher, where's that food going? It's going to clog the thing up, right? If you just have a bunch of like chunky food in there. Wrong. The drain on a residential uh, dishwasher has a food a garbage disposal built into it it chops huh? up yes it does? when does it do that at the at the drain where at the very Did bottom you know of called? like the basin there's blades in there i never heard that and when it spins it's chopping up everything that goes into it there's blades in there there's blades in your dishwasher bro what? i didn't know either this is why i was saying so <laughs> i look i examined the dishes fairly, yeah. fairly well they are all clean okay spotless frankly but again we need more Tom, I think we need to we need to do. Here's what I want to do, Tom. Okay. I think the the early analysis is interesting, but it's lacking methodology. <laughs> As I described, I want to set up a more comprehensive test, and I would like uh, to bring you back to analyze that when mm -hmm. we're ready to take it to the next step, which mm -hmm. will maybe hopefully be next week. Can I have your number so I can text you about this? <laughs> <laughs> You can text Jimmy. He, he. He's going to blow us yeah, up Jimmy yeah, style. Yeah. Tom, it's great to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Tom, thank Peace you. And love, thank you. And it's, all, Tom and it's all love, Tom. Peace and love. You're Happy October 20th to you. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> Subscribe to right. the Tom Ward Show. Talk to you next time. Bye. That's Tom Ward, everybody. Bye bye.
dishwashing expert. Who is team free wash? Now let's do another poll to see if the needle oh, has yeah. moved. Again. I do one there. Okay. I think next week we can really drive some good data. Uh, we need pictures before and after of every dish. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think like you said, uh, maybe two plates, like 10 different like <laughs> residues, so yeah. to speak. Each one twice, so that we're thorough. So like two stuck with oatmeal, two covered in grease, two with this or whatever. And then we load it up and no rinsing, see how it goes. Yeah. Okay, bitch. I gotta say, <laughs> Dan's been evangelizing around the office all week, and he's changed my mind on it. And I don't even have a dishwasher. It's just not enough. <laughs> it, it's just not enough. I, I I think the early results are interesting, but us in the scientific community, we have to be rigorous. I think and that's fair. We have to cross check before we come out with with fact finding and right. and uh, proclamations. Because frankly, if this does turn out to be true. Not only could it be a generation-defining discovery, it might even win a Nobel Peace Prize. Oh. So, it's important that we, we take this seriously. You move the needle a little bit, Dan. A little bit. A little bit. I think, it's, I think that's actually significant. It, it is significant. Yeah. I agree, yeah. It is significant. It's still, obviously, a clear majority. Um, I mean, look, the thing is, like... Yeah, of course it will clean some plates. The question is, how many? And to what degree? Well, here's a counter question. Do you pre-rinse all of your dishes? Not all of them, no. Some of you do just pop right in there. Yeah. Right, so we're just, we're, we're, talk, we're, we're in the margins here, you know what I mean? Not it's like quite, just, Dan, because mm. again, we're saying you don't, I think the claim was you don't need to pre-wash, period. No exceptions. And you're talking to me about putting an egg. I'm not going to put my reputation on the line. You're, you're, for that. You said to me, Dan, I will put a bowl, which I scrambled eggs in, in the washer. With that one, I think it could handle. That one, I think it could handle. I'm mostly just concerned about real stuck on shit like oatmeal or, or other grains that get like that harden like concrete. I, you're probably going to need to do a little extra love on those. Dan, and, and, good luck. And you, furthermore, you're <laughs> asserting that. If you've got like, let's say you got a plate with like, I don't know, lasagna and all this sauce and shit. So you scrape it off. Scrape it off. There's there's like a fair amount of food. There's gonna be some chunks scrape on there. Off, but you but scrape then it off. Tons of shit still little not a you know what I mean? Right. The the bulk of it is gone, but there's still a lot there. Right. Put it in. Put it in there. And the dishwasher. Not a problem. Because what would you do otherwise? You probably wash it in your sink with your garbage disposal and then run the garbage disposal. You're effectively you're just doing that twice. Hmm. You're just you doing that twice it. at that point. Okay. The thing that really sold it for me, Dan, was that video you showed me where somebody cut like a hole in their washer and it was a yeah, window. It, and I want to shout that guy out. Uh, uh, he's somebody, a YouTuber that I've watched for a long time, actually. Uh, his channel is called Technology Connections. Yeah. And uh, when I started going down this rabbit hole, I looked to see if he had a video about it. And sure enough, he had an amazing one where he cut a piece of plexiglass in the side of a dishwasher. And then ran a cycle to show what's going on. And in it there. really shows. And how when powerful. you see what it's doing during that rinse cycle, well, it's it like up. you want to see? Yeah, just show me that. that this clip is, okay. you're talking you, you about. You need the visual. This, this, this is this is compelling stuff. Technology. Let's give him a shout out and let's pull it up. Roll it. You know. You may have he, seen him before. He's he's a pretty big YouTuber actually. Uh, dishwasher. Uh. These things. Okay, here's the video, and let me find the part where it shows it. Uh, shout out to uh, Dan. Dan is searching for the plexiglass dishwasher. Okay, it is. I think this is Thanks, it. Thanks, Ethan. He's replaced the door with a plexiglass? Yeah, he's like cut a metal chunk out of the side of it and put plexiglass there so you can see it operating on the inside. And when you see these high-powered jets and you realize it's, soup, it's hot water with, with detergent, if you load it properly, suddenly it's like... Yeah, that probably is getting stuff off just as well as I would be able to do in a sink. Way better than a sink. I don't know, but exactly. The, the thing is, like, if you have a plate that's sideways, because I see lots of like up and down motion. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing tons of side to side motion. Anyway, shout out to Technology Connect. Shout out. If you guys want to learn more about this guy rules. About that. Okay, so we have more work to do.
We have more work. But thank you. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, Leon. Uh, dude, I, I couldn't help it when Gabe called and I, when it cut to Tom looking super confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just going to leave it on Gabe, but I saw his little window over here that he was just blankly staring. You as had well. to cut. Yeah. Um, that was so important.